I have no idea the number of people I photographed. The basic idea I had behind the photo series was that everyone, regardless of their social, cultural, or geographical background, is going to stare. You know, the fact ever since I was a little kid, I was always getting stared at. And just on a whim, I took a photo from my hip as a guy was passing me on the street. And lo and behold, the photo turned out to be pretty amazing. And that's kind of what set me on the quest. If you saw me during that summer, when shooting literally every single person who walked past my frame. So we've all stared at people. Um, whether they're tall, short, skinny, fat, super attractive or not, whatever fits outside your definition of the status quo, you're gonna look for a little while. I was born in Helena, Montana without legs in what the doctors called a sporadic birth defect, which is basically a fancy way of saying, I don't know. And from the get-go, uh, my parents kind of decided to raise me as just a, a normal kid in Montana. My recreation was spent keeping up with my cousins and sisters on camping and floating trips and really just learning how to get around in sometimes really difficult situations. I started riding my skateboard when I was about a sophomore in college. It was an easy way to get around the city with a backpack full of gear. And despite the stairs, dude, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I've been able to skateboard through airports, the Louvre in Paris, the Great Wall of China, places people aren't allowed to go on a board. I somehow get away with. I realized that in a lot of ways, the effect that I have on people almost makes traveling as a legless dude more interesting than as an able-bodied person. Oftentimes I've found myself ingratiating myself very quickly with the locals simply because they find me as an object of curiosity rather than you know, just an another American tourist. I've skydived, I've street luged, cliff dived, mountain boarded, um, had to climb a 50 foot tree with the old school lumberjack ropes, I've log rolled, guess how that went. The overriding ethos I have for everything is it doesn't matter what it looks like, if it works, that's the most important thing. A lot of times shooting armed and ready, I'll arrive at a location and know that I have to go street luging, but I don't know how I'm gonna do any of that. So a lot of the solutions that I find throughout the series are done on the fly and with whatever I have on hand. For me, the holy grail would be that, you know, there's a couple people in America who maybe have a physical disability similar to mine, and they're inspired to go into their garage and maybe make, you know, an adaptive device that allows them to do this. Inspiring or providing information to people in such a visceral way would really, at least for me on television, be pretty much the coolest thing that I could do.